Dad? Yeah. What are your thoughts on the pumpkin spice coffee? It's really good. I mm. like it. Anything else other than it's really good? Oh. It's just right. Mm. It's, uh, I don't know why I like <laughs> it. <laughs> like, can you taste pumpkin or can you taste the different spices? Yeah, yeah, you can taste them and the, the pumpkin and the spices. It's just, uh, it's a very good coffee. Yeah. Well, I guess I got my taste testing. Uh, I'm not a real, you know, I don't know how to word it. <laughs> I, I got that from Dad, I guess. <laughs> and it's good. I'd say, uh, well, this is too hot for me to try, so we'll be back in a minute. Moments later. All right, I'm going in for the first bite. Tastes a little, like, almost maple-y. Doesn't taste very pumpkin-y. It tastes really good. Uh, doesn't taste super pumpkin-y, though. I don't really taste pumpkin, but the, the nuts in it are pretty good. I think it's pecans. But, uh... Doesn't taste a whole lot like pumpkin, but it is pretty good. What's up, nerd? Not me. What's up with you? Going to Green Lakes to go for a run. Oh. Also, I just showed Karen the DJ Snake Turn Down for What music video. DJ Snake? You haven't seen the Turn Down for What music video? Oh, it's just like the actual music video or something? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen her. Or they're like crashing through the apartments. It's pretty weird. <laughs> she was like, what? Who <laughs> thought of this? I was like, I don't know. That's that's like the one thing that went through my mind when I watched it. I was like, somebody had to think about this yeah. in order to put it into reality. And then somebody else paid thing. for it. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know how that happens. Like overnight, there's like a spider web. Anyway, I got to go for a run. Yeah. And Seems like a perfect time for it. So. Yeah, right. Well, Not too hot yet. Enjoy it. All right. I'll see you, Max. <laughs> yeah. Just got back from my run. It was a little bit less than six miles, but I'm gonna go show you guys my post run routine It's nothing crazy special. It's just I've, I mentioned it before and people wanted to know what it was So I usually start with stretching. I just make sure to get all the major muscle groups So I will make sure that I stretch my calves and Achilles uh, my hamstrings my quads my glutes my groin and my hip flexors and then after that I roll right into foot drills and foot drills will really help decrease the likelihood of you getting lower leg injuries. So this one where I'm walking with all the weight going to the outside of my feet is really helping to prevent me from rolling my ankle and then I'll do like the same thing with me walking with the weight on the inside of my feet and that's also gonna help me from rolling my ankle, especially when I'm on trails. Uh, and then when I'm walking on my heel, that's going to help prevent shin splints. When I'm walking on my toes, it'll help prevent uh, Achilles injuries and calf injuries. And then usually I'll just start doing hip drills. So some of these will look kind of like I'm going over a hurdle uh, and then there's like a fire hydrant one. There's just a bunch of different ones you can uh, do and they all just basically help prevent knee injuries. So I'm basically just preventing myself from getting knee injuries and lower leg injuries. That's where I usually get most of my injuries. So that's what I personally do. There's a bunch of other injury prevention uh, exercises that you can do. So just Google that and you can find whatever, whatever you're trying to prevent, you can find an exercise for that. So after a couple of bowls of this, I realized that these taste less like uh, Cheerios and a lot more like Apple Jacks. These are basically like pumpkin Apple Jacks. Eva, yeah, you ready to kill it? Huh? No, this is a picture. When you're going downhill, lean forward, shorten your stride, and quicken like you're riding a bicycle. I told my junior high kids. Hands high, let fly. You're down there, so you might even swim a little. Okay? And uphill, hands low, drive toes. Flats, straight line, safest time. Okay? Get your immersion <laughs> Alright? Let's get started. Five minutes in between. Make sure you get water.
So you probably couldn't tell from the video exactly what the workout was, but it was called a triangle workout. The first 100 meters or so, it's all uphill, and then the next 100 meters is downhill, and then the next 100 meters is flat. And what they did was you run hard up, and then easy down, and then hard flat, and then it's easy up, and then hard down, and then easy flat. So then you're basically, you go through the triangle four times, so you hit each side hard and easy twice, so it all evens out, so you hit each side hard and each side even just as many times. It's it's a pretty cool workout. Uh, and the, the head coach told him to go a little bit easier than normal just because the heat was gonna make it even harder than usual, so your paces could be off by a little bit and you'd still be putting forth the same effort. Uh, but anyway, enough about that, more about Din Din. Got these uh, root vegetables. From, I don't know if I forgot if they're on the flyer or they're just like a all special type thing uh, but just like carrots beets and parsnips and stuff like that's pretty cool stuff uh, and then just masala burgers which they carry all year round yeah that's Dindin. Din. Well, look who decided to show up Dylan I smelled it you smelled the food all the way from my house am I taking them all off yeah why not I, I thought I'd leave a few to burn. Yeah, just as a sacrifice to the so eating why, gods. So why are there a couple that are in those tin trays? Um, don't don't worry about it, Dylan. Okay, how do I get these out? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really think it through. Um, I <laughs> well, already in it. Because I thought that I would ha I thought that they would be just enough, or just big enough to fit all of them on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, they weren't, and it's also harder than I thought it'd be to to flip them. So. So that's the story about that. Wow, I me! Mean. Learn how to only spend 30 bucks. Then I'll really win at life. Hey! And I know this much is true. <laughs> what? Hummus, it's you. And I like it. You uh, not know that song? No, I guess. It's not an actual survival. <laughs> well, anyway, this is my. Uh, I was trying to show what my masala burger oh, looks sorry, like. Sorry. But yeah, that's, that's it. And then the, the root vegetables, they were kind of weird because I, I had to take them off the grill because some of them were getting burnt and then other ones were being, were like undercooked, but I'd like, I'd rather have some of them undercooked than a bunch of them burnt. So anyway, I just like sprayed the grill, put it on there and then like the same thing for the birds. Spray them and put them on. Put them on there, daddy-o. This is the one thing that I forgot yesterday. It was in my fridge and I forgot to try it. Dylan. Awful. So, I'm trying it now. But, uh, it tastes, uh, I just tried it off camera, so. Loser. I messed up. I'm Didn't not a, I'm not a real I haven't vegan. I tried it yet. Oh, Dylan, <laughs> guzzle it. Okay. <laughs> Entire thing. There you go. No, but it tastes, it tastes just like the apple cider jam. It tastes like more apple pie-ish than normal cider because it is spiced. Do it, do it, do it. To the life of the year, live to win. All right, I'm gonna do this like a connoisseur. Right. Gotta really inhale it. <laughs> Waft it. The pungent can be strong. The pungent can be strong? It can be pungent. <laughs> <laughs> and strong. Quote of the day. <laughs> the pungent can be That's, Hey, kids. The smell can be stinky. <laughs> Which I, I don't know, does that make sense? I smell, smell, I smell. I smell. Good thing I got these whiskers yeah, now I so know. I can really get the taste. <laughs> you see what I mean though? It has a little bit more like apple pie than normal cider. Because it has more spice in it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Well, cinnamon. I'm a fan. I like it. It's like an upgrade from normal cider. <laughs> so final review. These are, uh, in my opinion, nothing special. I personally wouldn't buy them again. Uh, that's pretty much the rest of the video. The rest of the night I'm gonna be editing videos for Hercules and also this video, so I'll see you guys later.